Yo, what's good, everybody? This is your boy, Vinny Sankofa, back at you again. This time, I'm going to do something a little different, okay? Many of you know that I spent a lot of my time between Atlanta and a lot of my time between Los Angeles. And I often get asked, what place do you prefer the most? And I never really gave that question that much of a thought. People are always coming to me because they're either moving to L.A. or moving to Atlanta. So they kind of want to know, you know, the pros and the cons of both places before they make their decision. So I thought it'd be dope to put a video together about the pros and cons of Atlanta and L.A. This is Vinny Sankofa, Black Nostalgia. Let's get it. Now, Atlanta and L.A. are two places that I consider home. I spent about 15 years between the two places, so I think I know them pretty well. So I live in Atlanta now, and I just moved back from Los Angeles a couple years ago. So I, I, I could kind of tell you the difference between the two pretty accurately, I believe so. But these are just my experiences and things that I look at when I'm deciding where I want to move. So... You know, everybody has their perspective and everything like that. Please don't kill me in the comments. Look, this is just my experience, okay? So I'm going to go over five things, all right? Cost of living. Whew. Now, the cost of living between L.A. and Atlanta, okay? I ain't going to lie. L.A. is expensive. Very expensive. I will say you don't get as much bang for your buck in L.A. Look, you can have this apartment and it'll cost you anywhere. I think the cheapest you might find is $1,700. Maybe. If you want to stay in a fairly decent area. And your, your decent areas, uh, in my opinion, and this is like I said, this is just my opinion in, in L.A., the decent places in L.A., I would say, is West L.A., um, downtown Long Beach. Um, I ain't, I've never really lived in North Hollywood, but a lot of people that move to L.A. from other places, they either stay in North Hollywood. I stayed in Hollywood myself. Rent is pretty goddamn high. Like, <laughs> it's expensive to stay out there. Opposed to Atlanta. Now, you don't necessarily have to stay in the city. You can stay on the outskirts. You can stay on the north side. You can stay on the south side. You can stay on the east side. Like, there's a lot of people moving to Fairburn, Union City, Douglasville, um, Conyers, Covington, Georgia, Snellville, um, like out in Gwinnett County, Duluth. Um, and you don't have to pay that much to buy a house out, out in Atlanta. Um, there in some of these places on the outskirts, you can get a fairly decent house for under 300,000. The house that we just purchased, you know, we're doing pretty good and it was under 300,000 and it's a four bedroom, three and a half bath, perfect neighborhood, great area, quiet, you know, nice subdivision, kids could play, run around ride their bikes around the neighborhood, you know, you get a lot of bang for your buck out here. So with the cost of living, I'm going to have to give the edge to Atlanta on that aspect. Whoo, traffic, 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 traffic. You know what? I, I think this, these cancel each other out. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I take that back. In Atlanta, you have bad traffic in spurts. Mainly during the rush hour times, you have bad traffic. You know, like typically from like 7 to I say about 10, and then from 4 to about 7, you know, you're going to run into your traffic. You know, 20, 285, 75, 85 connector, you're going to hit traffic there. 75 going north. Those are the main arteries that clog up Atlanta. So you're going to get those, um, you know, periodically. In L.A., <laughs> traffic is bad 24-7. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. You are going to run into traffic. I came home once at 3 o'clock in the morning on the 405 going to Long Beach. 
and it was still traffic. My daily commute in LA was taking the 710 to the 405 to the 10 West. On a day without traffic, you know, it, it would be about 38 minutes for me to get to my from my apartment to my job. With traffic, it took two hours and 48 minutes going and coming from work. So I'm spending damn near three hours in traffic. I'm spending the amount of time it took it takes to watch the movie Titanic in traffic. That's how damn long you sitting in traffic in LA. And then on top of that, fighting traffic. If you live in an apartment like we were living in, you have to find parking. And that could take uh, that could take another 45 damn minutes, man. You driving around looking for a parking spot. It's hell, you know. And to get on like a parking list for your apartment, if you live like uh, in those apartment complexes that were built in like the 30s or some shit like that. You know, it's people that's already got their name on the list. You could be waiting forever to try and get your name on a parking list. Parking sucks out there. The traffic sucks out there. Yeah. Uh, so I got to get an edge to Atlanta as far as traffic is concerned. Now, we'll say this. As far as the transit system, LA has the better transit system. You can take the metro pretty much anywhere in LA, like all covering all of LA County. The MARTA in Atlanta, if it ain't outside of the perimeter, you pretty much asked out. So you definitely need a car in Atlanta. LA, not so much. You can do fairly well without a car. You can just hop on the Metro, take the blue line, green line, red line, orange line, purple line, <laughs> you know, the uh, Expo line, wherever you need to go. Um, you don't necessarily need to rely on a car, which is cool because gas prices in LA are also ridiculous that I should have added that in the cost of living because gas could reach up to damn near five dollars a gallon out there Atlanta is kind of floating around two to three dollars so I gotta give the edge to Atlanta as far as traffic is concerned but as far as like the um transit system definitely LA has the more better transit system when I You would think Atlanta would have better food, right? But I ain't gonna front, man Like, LA just has way better food Maybe I am biased in this aspect you know because i love mexican food my favorite restaurants are in la more of my favorite food spots are in la you got the best barbecue spots in the world i haven't even tasted anything come close to these barbecue spots that's phillips it's on crenshaw jefferson Woody's got two locations, one in um, Inglewood off of La Brea and uh, my favorite one off of Slauson and Crenshaw. You got Ono, the Hawaiian barbecue spot that, you know, I, a lot of people don't really mess with Ono, but I love that shit. It, they got it at the uh, Fox Hills Mall. Man, you got my favorite taco place in the world, King Taco. Uh, shout out to the homie Dax for putting me on the King Taco. Master Burgers, which you got to pretty much be... <laughs> make sure the coast is clear before you go to Master Burgers. You know what I'm saying? You got Tams, Pastrami, you know what I'm saying? You got the hat. Uh, my favorite restaurant, you know, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, which I ain't going to lie. Waffle House has the better waffle, but I'm just partial to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. That's just like a staple for me in LA. I got to go there every Sunday. Every Sunday morning, I'm in Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. It don't matter. I mean, all of my favorite food, food spots are out there. You know what I'm saying? In Atlanta, you know, you got Waffle House, but uh, I, I don't know. Me personally, I don't too much care for Waffle House. Like, the waffles are, are bomb. The waffles are good. But outside of that, everything else is just, man, I can make that shit myself. <laughs> That's the way the food tastes to me. Like, I can make that myself. American Deli, but, yeah, it, 
American deli to me is hit or miss. I had a Mexican food out here, just is not good. I have yet to find like a place that's even on the same level as a King Taco out in Atlanta. I just, I mean, JR Crickets is cool, I guess, you know. If you want better wings, you're going to find good chicken wings and, and all of that type of shit out here, you know, in Atlanta. But as far as, like, you know, food, man, I'm, man L.A. just it just got more better food options. If you really want to get on the healthy kick, um, it's, I mean, Atlanta's starting to get that way with more um, healthy food options. Like, as far as vegan restaurants, um, shout out to my brother, Jay Green. They got Green Love Kitchen in downtown Lithonia. Make sure y'all check that out if you're in the area. And in L.A., you know, you got, um, they have Veggie Grill, um, Simply Wholesome on Crenshaw and Slauson, which is one of my favorite places to eat. Oh, that's a, <laughs> I forgot about Simply Wholesome. How did I forget about Simply Wholesome? Their vegan beef patties are so bomb. Their food is just so good. It's a great... It's a great ambiance too. They have like bands that play in the restaurant, and it's a restaurant slash grocery store. One side is restaurant, and um, they have bands sometimes play there. The customer service is excellent. If y'all ever get a chance to check out Simply Wholesome, make sure y'all go out there and check that spot out. I'm getting hungry thinking about it. Like LA, I'm sorry, LA, hands down, better food. It depends, you know, um, me personally, um, I work in the film industry. Um, so either or Atlanta or LA is, is, is pretty good for me. Um, I mainly cut my teeth in LA and a lot of my film connections are out in LA. It's the cost of living though. Yeah, it's hard to pursue a film career, you know, in LA when, you know, you got a whole family to take care of and everything, you know. The, the economics has to balance out. One thing I will say, you know, about Atlanta is if you are a black entrepreneur, this is a great place for you. You know, it's very, very, very friendly for black entrepreneurs, especially like helping with resources. This is a very resourceful place. You know, black people work together here. They're not afraid to, you know, build each other up and support each other. Not to say that we don't have that in LA, but it's kind of like on a smaller scale. Um, but in Atlanta, this is a chocolate city. So, you know, as far as black entrepreneurs, this is the greatest place to be if you're a black entrepreneur. In my opinion, you know, some may differ. In my opinion, you know, black Atlanta should be the black version of Dubai. Who knows, maybe it'll get there in the next 10, 20 years. It's definitely a place if you're looking to cultivate and grow your business. Definitely, I would say in Atlanta, it's, it's good. It's good for you to grow your business in Atlanta. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of job opportunities out here as well. And the pay that you get, you can make a pretty decent living. Like, that goes back to the cost of living. You can survive out here, you know, and, and, and be comfortable. I, I got to give that to Atlanta, you know. Um, L.A., <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You know, sometimes, you know, I was making pretty good bucks, you know, but I still had to roommate with people, you know, in order to sustain. Not to say that, like I said, not to say you can't do it in L.A. You definitely can, you know, if you're pretty savvy with balancing the budget and things like that. But me, sometimes, you know, I'm an impulse spender. I'm an impulse buyer. So, yeah, I, I didn't really fare out that well. So, yeah, it, yeah, I, I would definitely give a nod to Atlanta as far as, like, be, your career and being an entrepreneur because the money that you do um, get in, the money that you make, it'll, it'll your dollars will stretch a lot further out here, in my opinion. Now, when it comes to like fun, nightlife, you know, hanging out and all that, I got to get a nod to LA. There is a lot of options and a lot of things to do that are in your proximity. 
you have you got the mountains that are right there you can go hiking if it's nighttime it's a good scenery to just go park your car if you need to collect your thoughts and just overlook the city at night perfect place to be there's so many options for things to do out there and the thing about it is nothing ever you can do the same thing a million times and for some reason it never gets old you have beaches that you can go to several beaches bars on the beach or if you just want to ride around cruise around the city it's it's, it's that you can do that if clubbing is your thing it's a plethora of clubs out there and it all caters to a specific crowd if you know you're more the laid back loungy type you know just view like i lived in downtown long beach uh there's this area called the pike everything is in that area that you need you have your shopping in that area you have restaurants you got a movie theater you got bars you got lounges you got clubs the beach is right there um you have like the queen mary which is like a hotel slash museum there's all kinds of shopping there you know if you want to get art if you want to get clothes there's grocery stores there everything is there shit roscoe's chicken and waffles is right there in downtown long beach and la just it has those type of pockets in la where everything is so accessible atlanta uh i gotta say you know things as far as like the nightlife is concerned in my opinion things do become a bit repetitive and a bit boring i mean it's only so many times at least like i said for me that you know you could go to this club you start seeing the same people over and over and over again i remember like <laughs> i would try i tried to holler at this one girl using this line and she was like okay cool and like a couple of weeks later, I tried to holler at a girl and I used the same line. And she was like, nigga, you said that to me last time. I was like, oh shit, I did. Oh, damn, that's you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, things do get kind of repetitive, you know, out here. There's only so many times you can uh, go to the strip club, at least for me, you know. Like, younger Vincent loved the strip club. Now, not so much. But I will say Atlanta does have the better strip club, so if you know that is your thing you know hey atlanta you know you can't that's pretty much what this city's known for as far as like the nightlife and everything like that la yeah the strip clubs all of them pretty much damn shut down uh, well at least some of the black ones you know king henry's gone stars is gone barbe coast is gone shit you want to know anything about la strip clubs i and like and now I have no idea. You gonna have to ask the homie Cameron. If you want to know anything about strip clubs in LA, you gotta holler at my homeboy Cameron. He know all about that shit. Matter of fact, if y'all want to check them out, check out Woke Plus Podcast. It's on YouTube. Looking for it. My homies Dax and my homie Cameron, my homie Daryl. Make sure y'all tune in to them. Show them some love. Tell them I sent you. But LA. Um, if you want to go to the strip club out in L.A., man, maybe Deja Vu and Spearmint Rhino and uh, Sam's where the damn stripper took my damn phone. Whatever. Anyway, so nightlife, man, I, I, I got to get a nightlife edge to L.A. Uh, it's a lot more to do. You don't necessarily need to go to the club to have a good time. You can do all sorts of things, man. You can shoot or walk the hollywood strip and not only that man you're you you're accessible to other cities and stuff like that like vegas you want to go to vegas vegas is about four hours away san diego is an hour away you know what i'm saying it's, it's catalina island you know what i'm saying it's tons of other stuff to do you know la it has a variety of things and it never feels old you can do you can go to the beach a million times and it'll still be a new different experience when you go to the beach so i gotta give the fun the nightlife edge to la i'm gonna throw in a bonus here <laughs> i'm gonna throw in a bonus one here sports sports it goes to LA. Yeah, I mean, I I don't even understand how the hell people are fans of Atlanta sports. And I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, but the hell with it. 
I don't know how y'all even just stay fans of teams that just constantly let you down. My God. Jeez. Like, it just, it's just gut-wrenching. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just to get your hopes up and you just think you there and then, bam, you just fall damn flat. I don't know nothing about that because during my lifetime, damn near every team that I root for has either – been in the Super Bowl or won a championship. You know, I've witnessed the Lakers win nine championships in my lifetime. I've witnessed, witnessed the Dodgers win championships in my lifetime. Hell, even the damn hockey team has won championships in their lifetime. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to get edge to L.A. sports, man. It's the city of champions. I was born in Inglewood, which is the city of champions. Hey, Atlanta sports, yeesh. Atlanta sports, yeesh. I don't know what y'all need, man. I think y'all need to forgive Michael Vick. Cause y'all, that's that's what it is. It's the curse of Michael Vick. Y'all need to forgive Michael Vick, man. Forgive Michael Vick, and maybe you know, I don't know. The Falcons might win the championship, or they might taste the Super Bowl again. But you know, y'all, y'all got to get rid of that Michael Vick curse. But as far as like my city's concerned, you know, I, I we're winning another championship for the next two to three years in basketball. So. I'm not even concerned. All right, so let's tally it up here. So we got the cost of living. Got to get that edge to Atlanta. The traffic, we get an edge to Atlanta. The food, we get the edge to LA. Career, entrepreneurship, we get an edge to Atlanta. Nightlife, we get the edge to LA. In sports, you know, which was just a random one, we get the edge to LA. So it's kind of split down the middle. But here, here's my honest take on it. Um, all jokes aside, I feel if you're a, a young person, you know, vibrant, want to experience the world, you will go to LA. You know, it's so much variety. It's so diverse out there. It's a lot of different cultures mixing together. It's definitely a good experience, um, and, and if you can afford it, you know, definitely. You need to have at least, I'm just telling you and just being honest, if you're going to move to L.A., you need to have at least 10 bands stacked and saved so you can at least stay afloat for a couple of months. L.A. ain't the place you want to live paycheck to paycheck. I'm telling you that from experience. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, if you're young, you know, no responsibilities, and, you know, you want to try something different, um, just get that experience, man. You can, know, visit L.A. But, you know, that's what I did when I, you know, high school, I came back to Atlanta. Then, you know, I wanted to pursue my career back in film. Went out to L.A. while I was young, no responsibilities. Um, and, you know, hey, I had a good time doing it. But now, married man, you know, have to watch the money a little bit more and, you know, be more budget friendly and, you know, now living the suburban life, you know, <laughs> it's cool, though. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta is a great place if you're looking to, you know, raise a family and, you know, get a house and, you know, be comfortable. It's a great place for that. So that's the way I look at it. You know, if you want to be if you're single, you know, and you know responsibilities and you just want to experience life, go to L.A., you know, you want to create your family and, you know, be comfortable and just live out the rest of your days, then Atlanta is the perfect place for you. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know I'm going to hear a lot of flack. You know, this is, like I said, just my experience with everything. So, you know, just let me know what y'all think, all right? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, you know, share, you know, do that. Hook your boy up. Look out for me. You know what I'm saying? All right. Take care. Vinny Sankofa. Peace.